Now for sports with sports director Matt Locke. Well, if you're not going to go all the way, why go at all? For the first time in program history, the Wall Hawks are your 3A UIL state champions. Redemption for Wall following their 2017 trip to Round Rock. So the Wall Hawks taking on Blanco in the state title game. Wall trying for their first state title in program history. It was a pitcher's duel until the bottom of the sixth. Bases loaded for Caleb Wertz. Slaps it out to center. It's caught. But it's deep enough to score Colton DeBitch from third. Wall takes a one to nothing lead. Luke Young says thank you for the run support. Very next batter, Gage Wysoon, hits it just over the head of the jumping shortstop. Gully is going to come in to score. I had to figure this Wall offense would strike at some point. Here it is in the sixth. But the Panthers would not back down. Ryan Gully comes to the mound to replace Luke Young. Blanco attempted the comeback. Jackson Hunter, a sacrifice fly to left. That's going to score Ty Atkinson from third. Panthers are within one. One out left for Wall. Gully is going to get the strikeout, and it's time for the dog pile. The Hawks are the Class 3A state champions for the first time in program history. They defeat Blanco 2-1. to one. Luke Young is your championship game MVP. Our Ryan Reynolds was there to wrap it all up. The Wall Hawks are state champions for the first time in program history. After defeating Blanco 2-1, to one, Ryan Gully came on to get the final three outs for Wall. And for the senior, those state clinching outs might be the sweetest of his career. Redemption is the name, and no Hawk is tasting it more than Gully. The Weatherford College commit missed his entire junior year after undergoing Tommy John surgery, an elbow injury he suffered during a select baseball tournament in Arizona. But now, he's back on top. I got injured in the offseason, had to, had to skip an entire year, and uh, just being able to be back here is just, it's an outstanding feeling, and uh, on top of that, getting to be the, make the final out is just a cherry on top. When Coach Sears called me to pitch, I just, uh, I just didn't think of anything too much. I just tried to relax and uh, do what I know how to do best, and uh, just stay comfortable and get the final three outs. I didn't, I didn't know what to think. I just thought, well, I, I strike this kid out onto the next one, and then I realized that it was the final out, and uh, from then on, it was just crazy. It, it's amazing. You know, you, I was there the day he told me he was going to have to miss the entire season, and he was, he was heartbroken. Um, because there were a lot of expectations last year that we were going to be here and be doing this, and he wasn't going to get to be a full part of that. And, uh, you know, it didn't happen that way. It didn't, it didn't pan out the way we expected it to or wanted it to. But he made sure that he was going to do this this year and get back and, and be a part of this special team. And I'm excited about him, and well, he's going to be a, one that we truly, truly miss because he's done a lot for our program. So things coming full circle for Ryan Gully here in Round Rock. He struck out 15 batters in Wall's first state appearance in 2017. He rehabbed, came back, punched out 10 more batters in Wall's semifinal win yesterday. And then today, he came on and got the final three outs. The entire city of Wall will be celebrating tonight. The 2019 3A state champions, the Wall Hawks. From Dell Diamond in Round Rock, I'm Ryan Reynolds, KLST Sports.